Hey guys, Devon Fish Tank Projects, and just want to kind of talk to you guys about a bit of water safety. Um, I've actually f flooded my top off water and bucket. It's probably about five times now for forgetting about the water or leaving it too long. It pours out of the floor. So I actually today just drilled a little hole into the side of my top off container. Put in a fish valve so you guys can see it. There's a float valve inside of there. So normally what I do is I just hook the RO. I have a, about a 50 foot hose from the RODI canister. And I just plug it into the side of here. I used to just poke it into a little hole and let it fill up. But after overflowing, having it spill onto my stand a couple of times, there's a couple of little honey marks on the floor somewhere from water, which has been a bit of a pain. So it only took about five times, but I finally learned and put in a mini float valve inside of my top off container. Um, I'm gonna actually get another one and put it on the side of a five gallon bucket, just for when I'm mixing salt as a extra backup safety. So if you guys haven't done it yet, it's pretty easy to do. Just a little float valve and get yourself a step drill bit. Just drill a little hole to the right size and screw it on. And it will definitely save you probably your marriage and a bunch of spills. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick little tip. And if you don't have a float valve on your top off buckets and containers, and you're using our ODI machine, definitely recommend it and do it and save yourself the headache before it's too late. Cheers.